Hello everyone, my name is Shun Jabril and welcome to this awesome tutorial. I'm super glad you're watching this because we're going to learn something really cool and that is how to use a null object to animate the camera in After Effects. And when you learn how to use this thing, you're going to be able to do some really amazing animations in After Effects and animating is going to be less frustrating and fun for some people depending on who you are. But um, here's a sample video of what we're going to be making. So, pretty simple animation, but the techniques used to make this, if you can use those, if you can understand the technique, you can make some really awesome kinetic videos. So, um, yeah, enough of watching this. Hold up one more time. There we go. All right, so let's get into it. Now, if you open up After Effects, I already have this set up, but uh, if this looks kind of strange to you, like After Effects, I really recommend that you go back into my previous tutorials and watch the beginner tutorials on how to use After Effects and getting started with it. But this is a tutorial on the null object, so it's gonna be kind of sped up a little bit. But yeah, so you have your composition set up, you have your text laid out, and you wanna animate it. What do you want what do you do? Well first you want to make sure that your text you have the 3D layer switch turned on for your text because that's really important. And because you want you want it to look good like there's movement, you want to turn on the motion blur for the text and what you want to animate. It doesn't have to be text. Like if you put a graphic of maybe a jar of peanut butter, you'll do the same for the jar of peanut butter. Motion blur and 3D layer. And you also want to turn on the uh, enable motion blur um, layer switch up here so you can actually see the motion blur in the composition. So you turn on the motion blur for the motion blur and 3D layer for the stuff you want to animate. And the background, I won't turn on 3D, the 3D layer for that because I want the background to stay as just the background. I don't want it to move at all. So I'm going to go to layer, new, camera, 35 millimeter is good, hit OK. I'm going to go to layer, new, null object. Then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard and call this camera control. And then I'm going to take the camera and parent it. So this pig whip tool right over here, I'm going to take it. See, make sure you see the black string thingy. If you don't see this, you see it. I'm going to take it and parent it to the null object that I just called camera control. And I'm going to turn on the 3D layer for that. And because I parent it to that, whatever I do with this, I can do with the camera. So let me even show you why it's important to do that. So if I uh, hit control Z on here, it's not parented. If I pull up the position for the camera and I want to move it on the X, which is 960 right here, I want it to move left and right, which you're supposed to be able to do that with the X. Look what happens. It does this weird thing. This is not what I want. Now maybe it might be what I want for something else, but I want something simple where I could just move it on the X and Y. And this is what happens for the Y. Not really what I want. The only thing that really works is the Z. Now you can go to a, to a, the camera control here and move it like this or like this, but you have to keep hitting C over and over so you can get the stuff you want. Now that's kind of hard. That's not good for workflow. I mean, maybe depending on your project, you might like to use that. But we want to make some simple kinetic typography videos or text animation movement thing. You know what I'm talking about. So we're going to take the camera and parent it to the null object, our camera control, and turn on the 3D layer. And now when we pull up the position, if we want to move it on the X, it only moves left to right on the Y, up and down on the Z front to back sounds like a song but yeah so let's uh, do a little bit of anim animating let's move these layers a little bit in time in the timeline so they come up at different points so we're gonna take the camera let's set a keyframe here gonna move it now you can you can move the uh, control by moving it the null object here in the in the uh, timeline box thing or you can go to the rectangle or the square here and just drag it and just move it to get it how you want depending on like whatever way you find easier it's all preference sometimes I like using the square sometimes I like going here because with here I can put in numbers so get it precisely or in here if I feel like I know what I'm doing I can do it like this so we're gonna start it here set a keyframe there move forward in time set another keyframe gonna move it in the X right here forward in time, set on the keyframe. We're going to come down to the peanut butter right here. 
then zoom in move forward set another keyframe then we're gonna finish up the peanut butter zoom out then we're gonna go forward set another keyframe and it's really important to set a keyframe because if I don't set these keyframes when I when the animation is here and I just go forward and I do another one I can pretty much just move in but then it's just gonna be a bouncing so I set the keyframe to tell it at this point in time I still want it to be in the same position and then that's when I'm gonna do the animation and what I'm gonna change change it. and then I'm gonna move it forward whoops excuse me that's not what I wanted there we go I'm gonna move it forward and now we have just let's preview what we just did I love peanut butter a little fast but yeah if you want to change it up you can just drag these uh, 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 let me just drag this in time because all that was I think that was one second so I don't know if you caught that in one second but yeah and then just make the adjustments that you like let's see how that looks like yep yeah you can keep spreading them out to make it go slower so if I spread out the keyframe the keyframes that means it's gonna be a little slower yep, now that's readable but yeah that's that's the easy way you can do it with the null object yep um, that's it well thanks for watching hope you learned what you needed to learn Hope you'll use the null object more in your um, projects and it makes it a lot easier. Let me know what you think about the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share. There's more to come. See you next time. Peace.